before landing checklist. As the pilot is nearing the final approach path to the runway, they should conduct the before landing checklist. This checklist is used to verify that the aircraft and pilot are ready for landing. Note, while conducting the before landing checklist, the pilot must reference their checklists to confirm all items have been checked before touching down. At first, pilots will rely on the checklist to guide their check, but with experience, pilots begin doing the required checklist line items and then verifying by reviewing the checklist. Once the pilot is on the final to the runway, the before landing checklist is conducted. The pilot ensures the fuel selector is set to both. The mixture is full rich, the appropriate lights are on, and the autopilot is disengaged. This checklist must be memorized. Go around checklist. If for some reason the landing does not appear to be safe, such as an unstable approach or an obstacle or aircraft is on the runway, the pilot must go around. The go around checklist ensures that the aircraft is configured properly to safely conduct a go around, as well as the pilot makes the appropriate radio calls. The go around procedure is to smoothly advance the throttle to full power, pitch the aircraft for the best rate of climb, which is 74 knots indicated airspeed for the Cessna 172 and the flaps are immediately retracted to the 20 degree position. Once the aircraft is in a positive rate of climb, which is confirmed both visually and by referencing the airspeed indicator and vertical speed indicator, the pilot needs to retract the flaps to the 10 degree setting. Finally, once the aircraft is in a positive rate of climb and above 60 knots indicated airspeed, the last set of flaps are retracted, so the flaps are fully up. As soon as possible, the pilot should notify ATC or the local traffic that they are going around. This checklist must be memorized. After landing checklist. After the pilot has landed the aircraft, taxied off the runway onto the taxiway, and is fully stopped, the pilot now conducts the after landing checklist. Ensure the flaps are fully up, the mixture is leaned for ground operations, the transponder is verified it is on the ground or in GND mode, and the appropriate lights are on, the landing and strobe lights are turned off, the pilot then contacts the ground control to receive their taxi clearance. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.